everyone, it's Brittany with Sea Salt & Company. Today I'm going to use the Sea Salt Summers 2 collection to edit this image. I wanted to bring out some of the golden, peachy, pinkish tones to this image and really make it dreamy looking. So in front of you, you can see the after image of the edits that I have done. And I will click off this layer to show you the before. You can see it here, there's a lot of blue casting. Our subjects are really shadowed. And we're going to fix all this within this collection very easily. So I'm going to delete this layer here so we can get started. The first thing that I want to do is see back here in the background, there's like a building back here and like a tower and they're kind of distractive. So I want to get rid of these and we can do that right within this collection. Scroll down to your patch tool and under there is say patch the scenery patch tool. And that's exactly what we're going to use. You can use this on any image. If there's something distracting your image you want to get rid of, um, you can do that. So I'm going to click it and press play. A dialog box is going to pop up and it's going to tell us to select the areas that we want to fix. Now, I have two separate images or two separate objects here that I want to uh, get rid of, but I'm not going to select them both together. I'm going to do them separately. So what I'm going to do here is get my selection tool and I am going to select around what I would like to fix here, which is this first little building or whatever it is here. And I did select around the area a little bit more taller than the building itself. So when it fills this, it's a content aware and it's kind of blended in for us. So after you select your area, just press play again. And as you can see, it has gotten rid of that uh, building and just blended in the background to mesh well with uh, the other surrounding areas here. So I'm going to run this again. I'm going to flatten my image here. And I'm going to go ahead and select the area that I want to get rid of, which is that tower looking thing back there. I'm going to press play. I'm going to press stop because they've already selected it. I'm going to press play again. And as you can see, it got rid of that tower. So that's great. Uh, I'm going to flatten this here. And the next thing I want to do is like, I want to get rid of some of these blue tones. Um, it's not going to get rid of all of them immediately. But I will show you here in a little bit how to further get rid of some of the blue tone. And it allows me to fix uh, some of these blue casting here on our subjects in the sand and the water. And it's very common on outdoor images. So what I'm going to do here is click on under the workflow is click on warm it up. And what this is going to do is um, bring in some of the golden tones as you can see here. It made our sun pop back here in the background. Again, it didn't get rid of all of them like on our subjects and things, but it did neutralize uh, a great portion of it. So um, I'm going to flatten this. I'm not changing the opacity layers or anything. I'm content with the level of warmness that it brought the image. What I'm going to do now is go up to the foundations and I'm going to run Beachy Clean. Now you may ask, you know, why did you do the warm it up before you do your foundation? So my foundation isn't going to neutralize the color. Um, or help the cast. It just overall cleans your image, makes it more crispier, things like that, and helps highlights and shadows. Um, not so much color. You can do it either way. I just chose to do, try to get as much of a fix as I could before I run other uh, actions on top of that. So now what I'm going to do is run the BT Clean. Um, there's three different foundations here, whatever works best for your image. You don't have to use them. You can use them. They're great power tools to use to help quickly uh, clean up your image. So as you can see here, after the action has ran, not much of a huge change here. All it is is, again, just a beachy clean. It's a basic clean here. Made our subjects more crisp and clear. Brought in some of the details of the water here. They're not so cloudy. See, if I turn it off, you'll see that um, it's kind of fuzzy and hazy. And I wanted to clean that stuff up and also our sky as well. So I'm done there. Um, you can open up the group layers. You can go in here and turn off and on layers and adjust it how you need for your image. It's very, very easy. So I'm done with that, so I'm going to flatten my image. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten these shadows, working on brightening up our subjects here. So down here underneath the workflow, just go down to Brighten Shadows and press Play. Now when I did the foundations when I ran the Beachy Clean, it did. Uh, helps some of the shadows, but again, I want to boost it some more. So as you can see here, after I press play, our subjects here and their faces have um, brightened up a little bit. If I turn that off, you can see how darker it got. Even our background was a little bit darker, so it brightened those shadowed areas. So I'm content with that. I'm going to press flatten. You can run this action again if you need to on your image. 
The next thing I want to do is I also want to brighten the highlights because I want the sun to pop a little bit more and the glow that the sun leaves on the sand here with the water. I want that to pop a little bit. So we're going to press play on brighten highlights and it is ran. So we press it off and back on. You can kind of see it just brings more of a glisten and I really wanted that. So again, you can adjust your opacities if you need to on there. And you can also run it again if you need to. The next thing I'm going to work on is the sand. I just want to give it more of a whiter sand tone and brighten it a little bit. I can clearly tell, even though we've got some blue cast here, I can tell that it's a white beach, white sandy beach. And that's what I want to emphasize on and kind of bring it, pop it a little more. So all you got to do is go down under the land and water enhancements and click on sand tones. There will be several different sand tones you can choose from. And under, you'll get a pop-up box, uh, which is going to tell you exactly what I'm about to teach you. Uh, open up your group layer here. Um, what I'm working on is the white sand. So that tone under this uh, action here is Emerald Coast. If you're not familiar with the Emerald Coast, that's down in Florida. Uh, in the panhandle section and it's emerald coast because the water's nice green it's blue it's beautiful and also they're known for their white sandy beaches so that is why this is called emerald coast because it gives it more of the white tone so i'm going to select on the black layer mask i'm going to make sure i have my brush selected i'm going to make sure that i have a white foreground color because we are painting on a black layer mask and we want to paint on not erase make sure you have a soft brush and choose the size that you need for your area. I'm making mine just a little bit bigger here. And I'm just going to paint over just the sand. I'm not worried about going over where the sand is wet from the water because I like that golden tone. I just want to work on brightening the sand up a little bit. So I'm just kind of going around here. just to brighten this up. Now you'll still see a little bit of the blue shading on here from the color cast. We will be fixing that here in just a bit. It's a very simple adjustment layer. Okay, so the next thing you can do, um, you can uh, also change the opacity to make it a little bit wider, which I'm gonna bring it up to 60%. And then also up here, an optional layer is the brighten sand. If you'd like to brighten it a little bit, you can do so. I am going to do that just a little bit here. Let's see, select my black layer mask and just paint back over to brighten it. I am going to bring the opacity down a little bit because it is a little bit brighter than what I want it to be. But for right now, go over these areas. And then what I'm going to do is grab, and then what I'm going to do is change my foreground color to black and then I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm going to fade it back out where I went over some areas I did not intend. And then I'm going to change my opacity down to about 30 percent and as before in the after there. And I'm going to flatten this because I'm content with this because all of our other adjustments we're going to make is going to bring all these colors together. Because right now, you know, it might be a little, again, the blue cast with this uh, golden going on over here. It looks a little kind of off, but it's going to be fixed. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to work on the clouds up here, the sky. Now, technically with this image, I think the sky is gorgeous. I love the cloud formation. I love the golden tone of it. But what I really want to happen with this image is I wanted more of a dreamy, uh, mystical type uh image especially with the subjects so i thought it would just be nice uh, really feminine and just uh, just magical to change the cloud formation i will do this underneath our sky enhancement sections and this one i'm going to use the wispy clouds option and what this is going to do is create like a swirl or a twirl to our clouds um, you can do this on the original image you can replace your sky then run this action whatever works for you i'm not replacing the sky in this image however whatever is going on in your image you can do so and then run the action and still get the nice neat effect so all i'm going to do here is click on wispy clouds and then press play and you're going to get a pop-up box that's going to tell you exactly what i'm going to show you 
What we have to do first is select our sky so it knows what part of the image to work on. So I'm going to grab my selection tool and I am going to just make a selection right here down to the land area, not all the way down, just there. Our subject is within this selection, uh, but that's okay. This is a very simple fix after this is done playing. You can select around your subject if you want to. I don't like to do that. I think this runs better even if your subjects are in that selection. It's easy to, to erase back and fade back than it is really to waste your time making little selections around all your subjects. It just too, takes up too much time. So once I've made this selection, I'm just going to press play to allow it to continue. And you can see here we've got the wispiness of the clouds. It just looks nice and dreamy. Now you can also see our subjects have also gotten a little wonky. So all we have to do is this layer mask here is already selected and uh, I have my brush selected and I'm going to change my foreground color to black because I'm going to erase uh, this off of our subjects here. And this just fades them right into the sky. And you don't tell much of a difference. Even after we've done the wispiness, it's made it dreamy looking, just erasing them back is no big deal. I'm also going to erase back down here at the edge where there might be um, some of that where we made our selection. That way it fades in nicely. And that is all you have to do for that. And then select flatten. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to change or add in some tone to the sky. Again, the tone is fine. I could stop here and maybe play around with my summer tones, things like that. But I really kind of bring out some of the pinkish tones and things. So to do that, all you need to do is under sky enhancements, click sky tones. Within sky tones, there's several options for tones for your sky. I've meticulously selected these colors to best represent you know, sunsets, sunrises, um, even at nighttime, things like that. Um, you can adjust them however you need to. You can change blend modes to get different tones out of each color, however you want to do it. Whatever works best for your photo. So after you play this, you're going to get a pop-up box here that tells you exactly what I just went over about changing, you know, blend modes, things like that. Now I have already went through all of these tones here to best select for this image and I settled for the sunset one. And so whenever you pick a color that you want to use, just use the black, click on the black layer mask, make sure you have your brush selected, a soft brush, and uh, make sure your foreground color is white. And then all you have to do is just start painting over your sky. Now these are gradient adjustments. Therefore, once I let go of this brush, the toning is going to change. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in just one second. I'm going to get close to my subject, but not all the way. All right, I'm going to let go, and you're going to see how, see how the pink came down, because it's more of a sunset. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop down my opacity to about 60%. I just want it kind of faded in. I don't want a real strong uh, color there. Now the next thing I want to do is, I got some on my subject here, so I'm going to zoom in on our subjects here so I can erase back some of that tone that I don't want on them. So select your brush, change your foreground color to black, because again we're going to be erasing back. And I'm just going to go over her skin here, her hair, and that off, and see if I got my little girl. All right, let me zoom back out. And I also want to erase back on some of the landline back here because I know some of that tone went down on there and I don't want that on that horizon. All right, so I'm finished with that. So I'm just going to flatten our layers. Now, before I do the last action, which would be the tone that brings all this together, I need summer tones. I want to correct some more of this blue. Um, and this is a very easy thing to do. Uh, just duplicate your layer um, and then go to image 
adjustments, click on hue and saturation. And this is something you can do with any of your images. If you've got color casts on anything, use this. It's a very simple tool, great for newborn photography. You get baby skin's kind of wonky. In any subject skin, this is a super easy fix. Even, you know, what we're going to fix it here, you know, different shades on, on the clothing and things like that. So in order to fix this blue overcast, we want to choose a color that it is not. One thing we do know is that it's blue, and we don't want it blue or cyan. So that would be reds, yellows, greens. However, if it's blues, I always go with the red. That is the opposite color to cancel it out and to fix it. So I'm going to select on reds. Then with my dropper here, I'm going to select the dress. And then you can see up here it changed the blues. It automatically knew what color we were going to fix. So take your saturation slider and move it down where you get it neutralized. And you can see here that blue is gone and it's just more, it just flows in with the image now and you got more of your white tone. I'm going to brighten the lightness just a little bit just to brighten them, which looks great. So I'm going to press OK here. And I'm going to turn off our layer so you can see the blue. You can see, you know, it fixed over here in the sand, it fixed over here in the, in the um, ocean as well. So you click it back on and you see it neutralized and it looks great, it looks perfect. Again, you can use that adjustment on any image that you have to fix any of your color cast. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do with this image is I'm going to, under our summer tones, I'm going to finish this off with just one tone. Now, there's many tones here. You can stack tones, adjust them however you want to. They're all gorgeous. For this specific image, I've already went through all these um, summer tones, and I have selected the Simply Summer. I believe Simply Summer is probably my favorite out of all these, which I love them all, but it is my favorite. Um, it's very soft color and it just reminds me of being uh, at the beach had an evening evening walk so I love it it's in a lot of my images um, so for this one as well I'm going to use simply summer so just choose whatever tone you want to work with you can also play all tones and try them all out on your image mix and match them stack them however you want to do it and again you can always open up group layers and adjust the uh, adjustments within each tone as well so you can customize it to your liking so this action has ran you can see we automatically it brought in the colors from the sky and the land and our subjects and just brought all that orangey pinky just beautiful uh, tone what I am going to do here is I am going to drop the opacity just a little bit so I'm going to bring it down to about 70% just so um, it just came off the subjects a little bit more. You can brush off the tone off your subjects. I'm not with this one. I think it's fine. Um, it brings in the skin tones, makes them more creamier. It just brings it all in together. And that completes the edit for this image. I hope you enjoy this collection as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for watching.